Hi, my name is Steph Sanders. I work for North of the River Recreation and Park District, and I'm here with my son, Henry. Henry, you want to say hi? Hi. And today we're going to make one of Henry's favorite foods, which is? Pizza Dia. Pizza Dia's. Okay, so we've got our ingredients lined out. We've got tortillas, two kinds of cheese, our toppings, and sauce. And we have Monterey Jack cheese right here, which you can use mozzarella or Monterey Jack, or and then we also have cheddar because we like to keep our quesadilla, like a quesadilla in the middle. Um, so you can use any kind of cheese that you want. You can shred it yourself, buy shredded cheese. Um, so let's get started. I'm a big fan of the Tortilla Land tortillas. So you have to cook these ahead of time. So you have, for this recipe, you're going to need two tortillas. What we're going to do is we're going to, with the tortilla ones, we're going to put it in our hot pan over here and get it cooking. And if you use regular tortillas, all you're going to do is kind of toast one side and make, at this point, we're going to make a regular quesadilla. So we're going to get toasted on both sides so they melt. And, okay. So we've got our tortilla cooking, and like I said, this was this part is like making a regular uh, quesadilla. Punch a hole in that so it doesn't bubble up. Henry, just a minute, please. And then we're gonna put our cheese over the top, just like a regular quesadilla. And this one I'm using cheddar because that's we like what we like at our house in between for our quesadilla. And don't worry about all the cheese on the outside. Those make excellent cheese chips. So we'll let that cook like that. And at this point, I like to put in a little bit of Italian seasoning as well. Wait, do you always do you always put that in mine? I do. Makes it delicious. Yeah. yeah. So while that is cooking, we're gonna put our other tortilla on top and then that's time to turn on your broiler. And I like to keep mine at high so it kind of toasts it really quick. All right, so we've got our quesadilla cook in there. Okay, so we've got our quesadilla ready and all toasty, complete with cheese chips. We're gonna put that on the sheet pan. And I like to line with mine with foil because honestly, who really likes to do dishes? So this is where we get the pizza on, right? We are going to first put on some sauce. Henry, go ahead and put some sauce on there like you normally would. Like on pizza. Yeah, like on pizza, that's right. Get a little bit more. Here, let me help you. Big spoon and get it all over in there. Okay. Ready? Can you do that yourself? Get some more on there, spread it all around. Get a little bit more. Okay. You can do it yourself. That's right. Get it all the way to the edges. One more spoonful right here. Okay. And then we put on our toppings. Put your spoon back in there. And you can do anything. You can do pepperoni. You can do hamburger. You could do onions. You could do vegetables. We are a pepperoni family, aren't we? And we and slice cheese. ours up. Pepperoni and cheese. You want to put your pepperonis on there? Yay. Make sure you spread them all around. Spread pepperonis. Yep. Put them all on there. Can we do a few more? Can I do all of them? Sure. Get them all on there. And then finally, what goes on the top of our pizza? Cheese. That's right. That's right. Mm. Hi, Sadie. Do you want to join us? No. Okay. <laughs> Let's that's get all the sister. ooey gooey cheese on there. That's my sister. Yes, that's your sister. <laughs> Got all your cheese on there? Yep. Is that how much you want? Yep. Okay, and then from there, if you wanted to, we could put a little bit more Italian seasoning on the yes. top. Just a little pinch. Make it look a little fancy. 
from here, you put it in your oven set at high on the broiler and you watch it. I only give it a couple minutes depending on um, how brown you like your cheese on your pizza or how melty you like it. Just kind of go, uh, go by what your family prefers. So we're gonna pop that into the oven. Yep. Okay, it looks like our quesadilla is done. We had that in there for about two minutes. You can see that it's a little bit brown, super melty. Let's grab another pot holder. And don't forget about the relish. <laughs> Not the seasoning. And so that is our melty pizzadilla. You're going to let it sit on the counter, no different than a pizza, for a little bit, of, like four or five minutes, so all of the cheese kind of melts together and it's not too hot to eat, because when you cut it, you don't want all of the cheese to goo out. All right, so now that our, our pizza dia is all cooled, we're going to cut it. I like to use a pizza wheel. You can use a knife or anything that you have that's ability, that you have the ability to cut with, and we just cut it like a pizza. Right guys? Yeah. This is my sister. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sadie has joined us. Yep, our sister that's crazy joined us. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. Save those little cheese chips on there, you want to save those because those are a nice little snack, right? Yeah, those are your favorite. And we'll have Henry. Try some pizza dia. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, try it, see how good it is. Might be a little hot still. Always test it. How is it? Thumbs up? Well, thank you for joining us and our and seeing what one of our favorite meals at home is. And um, yeah, spicy. I'm Steph Sanders with North of the River Recreation and Park District. Say Sanders.